I have to be a good boy. I need to put in the time accurately. He, uh... He gave me credit last time when I did this. Oh god, where am I? He gave me last- He gave me credit last time when I did this, so I want to do it properly this time. There. 4.43 p.m. Now I've outed myself for when I'm recording this episode. Ah, 4.43 p.m. Your favorite time of day. Or... Could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate 4.43 p.m. is. Let's use another slider to find out. Uh, it's... It's pretty accurate, but it's actually gone to 4.44 p.m. right now, so... You know, can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you, and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I have. Perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip a couple of new ones up. Should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. <laughs> I love that. Top of the morning to you ladies, my name is Jack Sepp, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. We couldn't just leave it at one episode last time. Of course I'm gonna have to get back into the game and figure out stuff again. I still haven't gotten a bucket anywhere. And despite putting that time in, no, it's the correct time and not my favorite time of day. I don't know what my favorite time of day is. 6 p.m., maybe? That's when The Simpsons used to be on when I was a kid. I like that time of day. All of his co-workers were gone. They're all gone, they're all mean? dead. Stanley decided no to one loves me. Room. I'm forever Perhaps alone. Simply missed a memo. Screw that computer specifically. Okay, I'm going to escape this time. Wait, new new content. Oh, good. You notice my son? Maybe not. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. What? We have new new. I love that. I'm never going to get to the escape ending, because I keep getting distracted like a magpie with a shiny object. What is it? Second elevator? You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable, and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. Mm -hmm. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. Uh -huh. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time... The music! Ever, the Stanley Parable 2. Ah! Nice! We got a sequel within yes, the game. You see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few <laughs> minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground Two. up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. The end is never the end. Again. <laughs> We're number 427. But two is more important. <laughs> Welcome, Investor Showcase. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than <laughs> Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. You hear that, Overwatch? You probably should have just called it Overwatch Battle for the World or something. But no, you called it Overwatch 2. And like 60% of the game is the exact same, if not more. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Great song. Love it. Because that is the thing to do, isn't it? You put two on the end of something. Like Fortnite, they didn't call it Fortnite 2, but it was Fortnite Chapter 2. Because you know, it's, it's, we're closing off that. Soon I'm gonna make coffee 2. That's actually a really fun video idea. New content is out! New content, part 2 is in. Got it. New hotness, old and busted. <laughs> Boring sections of the chart, cool red section of the chart. <laughs> They're back! Two doors! In the sequel, we're gonna have three doors. We're gonna have red, blue, and everyone's favorite tertiary color, green. 
More TSP, better TSP. Win-win. I don't know what TSP is. Turbo Space Program? Paradigm Shift. Synergy. Brick and mortar approach. Yeah. Buzzwords. Buzzwords. Electricity. Fire. Getting everybody in. Synergy. Combat. Boosting. Those plants look the exact same. <laughs> nice. I wonder if they thought about that actually, calling it the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> There's two Stanleys. <laughs> this is so fun. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing <laughs> for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. Mm. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Sequels are good. Portal 2, amazing. Half-Life 2, so good. Batman Arkham Asylum 2, also called City, Amazing game. Divinity Original Sin 2, amazing game. Doom, Doom 2, amazing game. Aladdin 2, I've never played it. Dark Souls 2, however, you are sniffing someone's farts if you think that that's a good game. Or, not, not that it's a good game, but that it's a good sequel. For shame. I don't care, all you Dark Souls 2 enjoyers. All of you defenders out there. I only care about M.E. My enjoyment. The Stanley... The prequel to the Stanley Parable 2 is the sequel to the Stanley Parable is the sequel to... <laughs> How do you come up with this? This way to the show floor. Ooh! Red carpet just for me. Soft on my feet. New features. This is what Netflix needed to do. Netflix are like hemorrhaging subscribers and they're ruining their platform. They're like, we're gonna bring in ads. We're gonna clamp down on password sharing. They should have come out with Netflix too. Idiots. Same with Twitch. Twitch are like, we're changing the revenue share. Everybody was getting 70% of the revenue and we're getting 30. We're changing it to 50-50. Just announce Twitch too. I'm waiting for YouTube too to come out next and it's called YouTube. Damn, I can write some of these jokes. <laughs> Why is there a bus here? Is that the bus to new content? I've also been on some red carpet events. Small flex. Um, and this looks exactly like that, minus the bus. Whoa! This is sick! <laughs> the here bucket! Go on, try out some of the new features. New feature, the reassurance bucket. <gasps> I wanted the Stanley Parable reassurance bucket. Where is it? Collect those. Oh my God, there's so much to do. There's so many places to go. Where do I start? The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. <gasps> yeah, I want that. I want the button. Oh, I don't want to go in here and get myself locked in though. Is it going to lock me in? For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer <laughs> is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? It's terrific. You also got the size of the button, right? The button that says the name of the player that's playing the game. Okay, what is it actually going to say? Is it going to say Stanley? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, <laughs> the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. No, 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 that's Here, good. Let's have you roll this yeah. Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. I'm good okay, with being a Jim. Here we go. Let's take a deep breath. Clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person. Showing us in the Jim. past, baby. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. S Jim. Whoa, 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 hold on. Sorry. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. Got, if you got don't it. properly roleplay as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact method, of this yeah. button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. You're lame. right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. I'll see if we're far away from the button. <clears throat> now. 
Allow yourself to become Jim. Jim. Imagine yourself driving to work as Jim, playing frisbee on the weekends as Jim, staying up all night for a popcorn and horror movie sleepover as Jim, developing a crippling substance addiction as Jim, rediscovering yourself through fringe religious groups as Jim, <laughs> and finally, whoa, dying whoa, whoa. a slow death at an old age, surrounded by members of your cult whoa. as Jim. <laughs> Do you feel it in your soul? I like Are being you really, Jim. Truly, Jim, right now. If so, then please step forward and press the button. I'm a drug addict cult leader, baby. Jim is so much better than Sean. No one else spell it wrong. It's a good all round name. Everyone loves a Jim. Jim. <laughs> yes, that was you great. See? What a thrill! What a rush! That's me. That was you. <laughs> the button described you. Do it again. Do it again. Uh, yeah. Do it again. Oh, it hits even harder the second oh, time. Yeah, baby. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable too, it would still be worth the money. I'm Let's sold. Take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal <laughs> validation. Oh, but I want to be Jim again. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. <laughs> Whoa, okay. I'm putting the Jim button away. Otherwise, no! soon you'll start to lose all sense of who you actually are. Jim! Jim! I want to be Jim again! I miss Jim! Oh, God! The existential dread of being Sean Jack is coming back. Oh, I want to be Jim. You heard Jim in the game. I am Jim. The button that says Jim. It changed. Jim's gonna get himself a bucket. Where's the bucket? Whoa. That big moving statue in the back is kind of scary, actually. The jump circuit, the infinite hole. Okay, I think, oh, the bucket's that way. Okay, we'll do that next. I wanna see everything. That's me, that's Jim. <laughs> the poster's awesome. Okay, you are here. Uh, jump circle, this map, free ah! achievement. Free new and easy achievement. I can't believe it's that simple. For a gym it is. Look how happy he is. That's a gym right there. I know a gym or two when I see them. Free achievement, get yours right now. Pull the lever, receive your new achievement. No more steps. It just works. Thanks, Todd Howard. I can't wait. I'll still mess it up. <laughs> now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Right. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. Revolutionary. You'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. That's amazing. I love this. As a Oonga Boonga monkey brain gamer, this gets my senses. Jimmy. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully <sighs> broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will no, be No, you're just a liar. To at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. This Stanley Parable 2 is just early access. I want Chivo! Baby wants his toy! Man, this stinks. It just works. Another lie told by the gaming bourgeoisie. Todd Howard gets up on stage and everyone's like, Oh, we love you, Todd! More like God, Howard! He's full of what lies else? and deceit. What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Where's the liar exhibit? There's gonna be a picture of the narrator there. Free achievement, infinite hole. I'll go get some collectibles. I hate collectibles in game, but can you find them? Can you find them? Can you find them? Collect them all. Well, now you've sold me. Ah, collectibles. Whoa. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number what go up. The you simply collect good all of Lord. them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. This is so creepy. Hey, one of six. Oh boy, that means there's five more for me to collect. 
I think I just, like, had an out-of-body experience. <laughs> I left my own body, collected myself, and now I'm back as Jim. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game, and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Yeah. I'm more into the wasting my time sort of achievement. Does this count as one? You are one of those statues. Can I collect you? Oh, that would have been cool, wouldn't it? If all the things were different sizes. No, no. Gamers are idiots, though. They'd never get that. You have to, like, keep it simple and keep them, like, super glowy and, like, in their face so that when they collect them, they feel like they accomplished it. Oh, nice. Jump circle. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. And give me it's two jumps! Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. <sighs> this is what I get. This is what I get for trying to get it all, all at once. It's just pure greed on my part. It's my fault, really. Please, no screenshots. What if I... Did I get an achievement for taking a screenshot? He didn't say anything okay, about it. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the <laughs> new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, mm. like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? Get Well Someday is good, because it applies to everybody. Um, It's like a real gym thing to do. The little heart is nice, but it just lacks imagination. It lacks pizzazz that the, the happy 12th birthday step niece has. Because that really shows that you're going out of your way. It's not just your niece, it's your step niece. So it's not like you're bonded by blood and you have to do it. It's your step niece, so that's going the extra step. Plus, it's got a fancy graphic on it. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday, it is. <sighs> I don't know why I think I make any decent choices in my life. I don't know why I'm convinced that anything I do well, actually, actually matters to anybody. Maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision, we're moving on. This is so bland. I was trying to add some color to the office. You added white. Cool. Stupid. Alright, what else can I do? Reassurance bucket? No. I gotta go to the infinite hole first. What's this? New features, new content, new ideas. Consistent quality with just the right amount of change. The Schween shaders. The new updated ray traced, more of the same but in a good way, sequel to the... Red is the new orange. Whoa. Whoa, that's so messed with my head. I didn't realize that that was actually in the game and not coming from, like, my phone interacting with my computer. That's how you know how old I am. Your phone could just predict, or your, your like, speakers around your computer would be able to predict a phone call that was coming in, and you would get that sound. Oh my god, that just sent me. Is there... What is the point of that? Ooh, epilogue. What? An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it would go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Yeah. We have to get the prologue happening first. Which I'm pretty sure we've gotten. Settings World Champion. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to change some sliders. Oh. Never mind, I'm just going to hang my head in shame. I'm going to go throw myself into the infinite hole. Hole entrance to infinity. And beyond. Okay, that makes sense. Infinite hole chart. Depth, space, more hole, science. Yeah, you got to get the science in there. Uh, and falling, yeah. That's basically all a hole is. It's just falling, but infinitely. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. Mm. This is, in fact, 
a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right, infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for oh. video games as a medium. I mean, Portal kind of did it. You could just take, make two portals and go between them and you're falling infinitely. But what do I know? I haven't made a sequel to anything. <gasps> Jacksepticeye 2. Of course, it's been in front of me all this time. Uh, this isn't going to kick me out of this area, is it? Because I do want to do the reassurance book at last. Whee! You see, isn't it wonderful? One of Very my more fun. ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. But what if I just fall infinitely? Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Oh, wait, can I not? Oh, God. Okay. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. I feel like there's an ending at the bottom of that hole. There's no such thing as infinity. Even a black hole has to have something at the center of it. Although they do say it's probably infinitely dense. Doesn't make any sense to me. What do I know? I'm just a gym. I'm gonna get me a bucket. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I'm happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance yeah. Bucket. Yeah! You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true! Bucket! As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually <laughs> redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, <laughs> the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on. <gasps> the bucket! Everything I've wanted for so long! Bucket me! <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. Yeah. In fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The Dude, Jim's the bucket feeling good. Seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more awaits you in the Stanley Parable too. I can't wait for the Stanley Parable 2 to give me BLC. Bucket loadable content. DLB, downloadable buckets. How? Oh, I can get out now. Thanks for the bucket! Finally! The bucket is mine! I'm so gonna bucket all over this place as a gym. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? They should. That really should be an award if it isn't already. Dude, I love this. I'm feeling so reassured. I don't know where to go, but this bucket is lit. I don't know where else to go now, so I'm going back in the hole. I'm going to infinitely fall with my bucket. And then whatever's at the bottom of it, I'm gonna put it in my bucket and bring it back. That was a lot of alliteration in that sentence, but woohoo! Come on, bucket! See, I can't feel scared falling now, because the bucket's gonna reassure me. Okay, and I guess we're back in the hole now. Did you really need to see it again? Yeah, I baby. I know what else there is to say, Stanley. It's an infinite hole. No, I don't believe you. It's exactly what you're doing right now, but... Forever. Mm -mm. There really are so many other fascinating exhibits that I've prepared for you. I don't I really believe you, talky man. This, and I would very much like to show you some more of them. No. How about we go ahead and press that teleport button again so we can get back to what's really important about. Ha! Oh, goodness. Knew well, it! This is rather embarrassing, Stanley. 
I'll be honest with you, I truly did not believe that anyone would actually stay in the hole long enough to hit the bottom. Yes, I know, I told you the hole was infinite, but come on. No, no, Who no. actually wants to fall forever? I did! The hole was plenty deep. It was more than deep enough, in my opinion. Maybe it's you who likes falling too much. Maybe you're the problem. Whoa, 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 <sighs> whoa. Look, uh, the things got a little heated there. I yeah. think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? If that works for you... What am I going to call this? An infinite bucket? ...button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. No. I'll just be up here when you're ready. No, Jim's in the well now. Someone's going to have to come save him. Put a rope down and grab my bucket and then I'll sit in it and you can pull me back up. I'll scoop the water out of this misery well that I'm in. Or maybe I'll just cry from loneliness so much that it'll fill up your infinite hole. Or maybe nothing will happen. I guess nothing's happening. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my bucket is immense. But hey, at least I feel reassured. Ah, the exit's this way. Okay. I've seen all your new content, and I rate it abysmal. I want out now. But thanks for the bucket. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Yep. Ready to move on now? Whoa. Jesus. <laughs> hey, hey, Jim. How's it going? New mug. Pfft. Mugs are just small, pitiful buckets for babies. So, Stanley, what do you think? What is do this? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as this one an single operating theater video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Hold me, Here Bucket. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh. Wow. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Okay. okay yes, yes, this is much I'll just better. be a gym and close my eyes for a while. Here we go. Version 2. That's even worse! <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. <laughs> I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course, <laughs> with respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Oh. Wow. Damn. Oh my god, I feel like we're playing Control right now. <laughs> That's so good. Is it just going to be the same? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked. Okay, this is just a cutscene, so it's the same. <gasps> the balloons are here! The madman did it! All of his co workers were gone. See, they saw! What did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he They should have been blue! No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. <gasps> bucket! Stanley picked yes! up the bucket. Oh, I've missed you so! Oh, I've never wanted to hug a bucket more in my life! 
Oh, and the new content is gone. <gasps> what does it mean? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Okay. How, how do I get a bucket ending? Do I just do what he says? This bucket's got to come in handy somehow. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where, coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Is he really incorporating the bucket into everything? There's, there's buckets for spitting! Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. How was it two? Crushed by eight, the weight four, of this revelation, five? Stanley made but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? <laughs> was the bucket guiding him? <laughs> yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Oh, the bucket helps. Everybody needs a bucket in their life. I'm kind of afraid to follow. Ooh! When you found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, nice. no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. I, I do get a reward. I have people watching me, so I get personal validation for my self-esteem. Like this. Like, write, write a comment right now congratulating me on finding the collectible. Oh, it feels so good. I'm afraid to complete this ending, though, again, legitimately, because... He... The, the game might just completely the crash again. ...downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this dark moment bucket. of uncertainty, he would be all right. Oh, bucket. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Oh. Everything will be fine. Bucket. Oh, I love bucket. Oh, bucket in my Stanley life. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. No. I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here with my bucket. Me and my bucket are going to elope. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. Nope, can't kill me. I have a bucket. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Nope. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. I was- I'm never gonna die! People with buckets don't die! Have you ever seen a gym with a bucket? He can cut- uh, Oh. I've survived one infinite hole before! I can do it again! Oh, scary. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. As the machine whirred into motion and uh, Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, uh, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and uh, comfort had Save me, bucket! To, to be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. Bucket! But what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? Oh, God, this is bucket what help! Thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Oh, no! Well, Stanley. Oh, God! <gasps> Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently no. to death. No, my bucket! Oh, I survived. Run, bucket! Run! Get out of here! It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. I'll it's never let you all die, bucket! It's agent in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious Wait. bucket to behold. Where's my bucket? They stole it from me! I abandoned my boy! <laughs> Where is he? You are standing at the precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within. A cavernous void. Rude. 
But through use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we can really have. Will you take what you learn here with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind that you may be challenging uh, what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were in ignorance and darkness? I miss my bucket. <gasps> Is that a bucket? You have a bucket over Can there? Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to take it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? You're right. I'm nothing compared to a perfect bucket. Look at all of these buckets. A photograph of 25 buckets, the greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. That is way more than 25 buckets. The photographer experienced catatonic shock for several weeks as a result of the euphoria from exposure to this many buckets at once. Oh, I can't look at it, it's too much. The perfect bucket. Oh, I'll never compare. A bucket with two handles? This bucket is depicted as having two handles. Such a design has never been created in real life, having been deemed too dangerous and recklessly experimental. Every year, dozens are put to death just for attempting it. I'm gonna figure out a way to make the perfect bucket. What about a bucket with the bottoms welded together so it's like an infinite bucket? Make it happen. <laughs> the first caveman to discover the bucket. They didn't know what they had found. While we know that buckets predate the existence of mankind, we do not know by how long. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical use of the bucket, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings now that the bucket is showing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. This is a primitive bucket as well. I imagine that the bucket that they found was... No man can own a bucket. And certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. <sighs> Do I jump in the hole to get the bucket? This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between the bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distant distance inevitably is for our own good. I'll never be able to reach out and touch bucket. Wait, there's a pathway I missed. That's gonna have the solution to everything. It's gonna make the buckets all make sense. The stress bucket, an analogy. All of your worrying, negative forecasting, negative thinking, lack of reassurance. Vulnerability equals size and strength of the bucket. Stress is the level of water in the bucket and coping strategies equals holes. Rest and relaxation, doing something you enjoy, rest and relaxation. That is the only true way of draining your stress bucket and feeling full. What does it all mean? The buckets, the buckets, they're too strong, they're too big, too deep. You ever look into a bucket and you realize that you never actually see the bottom of the bucket? What can I do with such great knowledge? Like I'm not worthy of the bucket. Did the bucket come to me or did I find the bucket? The bucket is something that we all must crave in our lives. For the bucket represents us and the, the hollowness that we feel within. The emptiness, and not until we're full with somebody else's fluids. Are we truly unique? I have a feeling I'm gonna be able to grab this bucket as I jump. Damn, if only I was in the jumping circle. I can grab this, I can grab this, I can grab this. What? Am I worthy? The bucket has deemed me worthy! I am the bucket god! But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. What is it? No! Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another- No, you'll bucket. never kill me! Bucket, protect me! buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die. I can never die! The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world- No, new bucket, leader. save me! Dang it. <laughs> ah, come 
come on! What about the bucket? I know. All of his co-workers were gone. I'm gonna take the bucket and go mean? the other way. Stanley decided to go Figuring to the finders room. committee Perhaps meeting today in the meeting room. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up the bucket. We're going again. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed. There are so him. many other places we can go with a bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket. Like the right door. Chair. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. <laughs> Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. You can't get crushed with a bucket if you never go to the crusher was, of buckets. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. The bucket can never be wrong. You Stanley just don't understand the, the to bucket. Go back to the meeting room. Nope. The bucket no, has never led me astray. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. And to the cargo Good. lift I Set went. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Yes, Stanley bucket. did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious No, thing. I've been illuminated. He was <gasps> convinced that the bucket Figurine. had spoken to him. And he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket Damn. asked. I am unflinching. In the knowledge and wealth of wisdom here, of the bucket. Said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. This is not dark. Where now, bucket? What is he saying? The bucket's saying... Subscribe right now and like the video? Bucket, you're so wise beyond your metal. Oh, this is the dark room. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone, and it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. Yes, bucket. Hello? This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. Where am I? And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Am I at home? I like, I just, my bee. Okay. Book it! Yes. Press U to take me to work with you. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. You don't get it, man. The bucket knows all. The bucket's got secrets. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate no. metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I'm I finally thinking clearly. Listen to me. I'm thinking clearly with the bucket for the first time in my life. For, for the first time ever. The clouds have parted, and I can see the bright blue sunny sky above me. It all makes sense now. Oh, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Bucket, is me. that you? It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. You just location. don't get it! That's it. It doesn't do anything else. You don't get the bucket! Don't listen to the loud man. Press B for us to go back home. Yes, bucket. Yes, bucket master. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me. He You're not a bucket. To. Now all he cares about is his awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. Don't, don't, shh. don't listen, bucket. Cover your handles. Press K, K to ignore anyone in your life except for me. Yes, bucket lord. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. Get out of here, narrator! From You're a on, pale shadow of a bucket. To this bucket, this cold, empty bucket, this sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does yes. have a nice shine to it. Give in to the bucket. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press P to go back home. Is he spelling out something on the keyboard? I haven't paid attention. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Still, Glorious. 
more capable of transporting liquid. Yes! Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Give in to the bucket. Proceed to relive this same day with me over and over. You've got it, my bucket lord. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's not it's just a bucket, it's a way a of life! Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? Because you're starting to believe. You're starting to understand. Oh, no. I'm, I'm having feelings for the bucket. No, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket oh, I'm gonna fuck to a bucket. In this troublesome situation. I'm a fuck a bucket. Right here in bed by candlelight. Stanley, give me the bucket. No! Give it to me. Give me the bucket, It's Stanley. my bucket! I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll... Try and get it. You don't understand the bucket. You never have. Go back to work, Stanley. Yes, bucket. Yes. Bucket? Bucket? All of his co-workers were gone. Bucket! What did you mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Oh. Perhaps he had simply missed a mem- The confusion and the bucket. chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley Oh, that's better. That feels right, doesn't it? With a bucket in hand, you're always going to make the right choices and go in the right direction in life. <gasps> How can we find them? There will be a reward for finding them all. Yes. This is the book it's doing. Absolutely. Warehouse access plan. Produce one plank to allow ease of access past fence. Construct bridge to allow collection of shiny float. Retrieve Chris's remains from warehouse floor. Uh, excuse me? Construct new structurally sound bridge. Oh, Chris went out and got it and died, didn't he? Because he didn't have a bucket! If Chris had a bucket, he would have gone out there and he would have been able to grab it and everything would have been fine. But no, Chris is an idiot. He's a bucketless moron. Don't be like Chris. Don't be bucketless. Have a bucket in your life. Go, grab a bucket right now. Send me a picture of you with a bucket. If you don't have one, I don't even want to know you. Mission status. Inside of a sequel exhibit. Oh, got it. Yeah, and I got nearby a fireplace. Wait, did I? Is this some kind of game? There must be a point to this. Gotta collect them all. Five. There be just take it from me. Lol, looks like 427. Ha ha ha. That's rude, guys. Trust the completionist instinct. Oh, I will. A large room, lots of boxes. That has to be the warehouse. Stairs? Something to do with stairs. Maybe if I go downstairs, I can get one. Somewhere, both red and blue. The doors! And a private but smelly place for an important person. Is there a VIP room? We can get this. Who are you? 666, lol. There will be cleaning of this wall required. I want them so much. We're gonna get them. How can we find them all? They're so beautiful. I mean, they're no bucket, but I must have them. Why wouldn't they just tell us something will happen? This investigation, this room, they feel pointless, to be honest. No, 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 no. There's a reason. Collecting all of the collectibles will lead us to getting something. Is there one in here? Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. No! You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy Let me out! is as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the coming to a stand. No, no, no. I'm going downstairs. The bucket walked up we must get out of here, Bucket. Just office. you and I. <gasps> yes. Another miniature Stanley figure. I knew it. Um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Oh, um, what about Stanlerines? Yes. I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. I liked mini stands better, honestly. And I would know. I have a bucket. I I know exactly how to market things. Okay, I'll move forward now, because now we can get to the red and blue door. 
I'm gonna get these collectibles. They're mine, buddy boy. Two eight four five. Manager's office. The book Stanley whispered was to once me. again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional Wait, dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. Thank you, Bucket. It would be with him, always. The Bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the Bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. It's showing that I can like click something here. But I can't. But Stanley guessed the correct code. I wonder if there's another know. code I could press to get was something. It the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Thank you, Bucket. I love you, Bucket. You're the best, Bucket. But here was the proof. Here we are, Bucket. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy. There has to be sad, something we can do with the Bucket here. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. Yes, sir. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Oh, bucket, you minx. Let's go do it. I think if I can escape with the bucket, I'm gonna have a happier life. I think it's not gonna crash the game this time. I truly believe in it. When at last they came to the source of the room's power, Stanley and the bucket knew it was their obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Yes. You still with me, bucket? Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Let's Stanley go, and the Bucket! They had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. <laughs> Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped Jim through and this Bucket. Door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. <laughs> Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned. That is not simple. But it was one they'd live together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and... What? Wait. What? What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? Whoa, it changed! An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. No! The no! Himself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket. Needed the soothing It's my bucket! The bucket would go to any lengths not to part with the bucket. No, the bucket! No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. You can Not pry the bucket from my cold, dead it. hands. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't yes. I? Yes. Stanley gulped. The very bucket. Very soon now, he was about to find out. The bucket. All I need is Bucket. Everything I've wanted for so long. Yes, Bucket Lord. It's my Bucket! Yes. I love you, Bucket. You're the best Bucket. Bucket. No, bucket, you minx. Oh, I'm gonna fuck a Bucket. Bucket. Oh. Bucket. Oh, I love Bucket. Yes.
<laughs> when you bucket things right, people won't be sure you've done any bucket at all.